Hi, welcome to the Wide Open Communication tutorial for adding a new user uh, in the Kentico Content Management System hosted by Wide Open Communications. What you're going to do first is once you log in for, uh, you know, to your Content Management System, it takes you to this tab here, the Content tab, and you can see the uh, the home page uh, of your site as well as you know all the other pages and stuff like that. Up here in the tabs, uh, we're going to click Administration, which is all the way on the right here. And this takes you to a section where pretty much you can oversee uh, certain parts of the whole site. You can ban IPs if you want, check the event log, uh, sign permissions, etc. and so on. Well, what we're going to do right now is uh, check out the users here. Um, there's one over here on the left uh, hand pane here, or on the right here's users, which gives a little description and everything. So we're going to click users. And uh, once it comes here, it displays the list of users that are already uh, active on the site. Uh, there's the administrator, there's the editor, one I made, and here's public. You cannot delete the public user. The public user is for people that want to check out the website, um, but don't have you know access to, to into the content management system or whatever. So this is pretty much for anyone, any Joe Schmo that wants to check out the site. Uh, the green pencil here lets you edit the user. The red X lets you delete the user. And the people icon here uh, lets you uh, manage their roles. Um, so say you, for editor up here, you want them to be an administrator now, you can click this, which then brings up a uh, pop-up window here. And then, you, you know, right now you can see they're an editor, but say you want to make them a designer or desk administrator, you just click this and hit this, and it should put it over on that side. Say you make a mistake, you said you don't want them to be a desk administrator, take it right back. And then uh, go ahead and hit close, and that applies everything, and this page will probably refresh then. Um, but what we're going to do now is uh, create a new user. So up here on the top here, you'll see this little icon up here, and the link says new user. <coughs> Click that and just create a username. Um, we'll call this one temp user. It needs a full name, so we'll just put Mr. Temp user. And then an email. Uh, make sure they are enabled. That way they can log in. Is an editor. If you don't want them to be an editor, just uncheck it. If you want them to be able to come in and edit some of the content, keep that checked and make up a password real quick. And press OK. So now it created a user. User is now written in the database. Here you can uh, expand the preferences and whatnot. Um, you can make them a global administrator, make them hidden. There's the you know the defaults. Um, you know settings and stuff like that. If you want to expand on their middle, their their full name and last name, you can do that. Uh, here's a password tab. If you need to change the password, any settings, nickname, signature, blah 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 blah. There's tons of tabs here which you can go through and you know, just just check out and everything like that. Sites, um, you know whatever sites. If you have more than one content management system on a server, which you shouldn't, um, you know that's all there too. But if everything looks good, then you can just uh go back to the users and if you made a mistake you don't want them there anymore here's the delete icon delete that make sure you want to yeah and we're back to square one uh, this has been creating a new user within the Kentico content management system if you have any questions feel free to call 717-337-2424 or contact us at info at wideopen.net thank you very much have a great day bye bye